Hi, I'm Andrew Sinclair with the Princeton Public Affairs Group. Welcome to this week's e-news update. This week, the New Jersey Supreme Court ruled that the recently enacted health care reforms did not apply to the judicial branch. The court's decision resulted in both the Senate and Assembly calling for special voting sessions to be held Monday. The legislature will vote on placing a constitutional amendment on the ballot for voters to decide whether to include the judiciary in health care reform. Also this week, the Senate Judiciary Committee confirmed Christopher Cerf as the new Commissioner of Education. Cerf has been serving as the state's top education official under the title of Acting Commissioner for the past 18 months. His confirmation was delayed because State Senator Ron Rice had blocked his nomination under a practice known as senatorial courtesy. In other news, the State Department of Transportation resumed the controversial red light camera program. The program had been suspended briefly to ensure that the traffic signals were timed properly according to state and federal standards. All of the signals were found to be in compliance. Governor Christie signed legislation designed to rescue the ailing solar industry. A priority of the Christie administration with bipartisan support in the legislature the bill aims to ensure investments in solar do not dry up in New Jersey, which is second only to California in the number of solar panels, with 16,000 systems installed here. Thank you for joining me. For more information, please go to ppag.com. Have a great weekend.